Hey guys, Harv here and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Today's tutorial is how to get to Minmus and return. I've actually done a previous tutorial on this, uh, exactly the same. Not the same method though, so that's one of the reasons why we're redoing it. And also because times change, things move on. It's nice just to re-update our old ones. So, as you've just seen, we've basically we found the point where Minmus's orbit crosses over the equator of Kerbin. That's called the node. And you can see we've put it just right in the centre now. So what we want to do is time warp until Minmus is getting close to that point. Now the point I've set it to just now is actually a bit too close. And that's for a very good reason so that I can show you what to do if you don't immediately get an encounter. So having warp to get Minmus in the correct position, we then warp a bit more to get to the correct time of day so that when we launch we can go immediately into an orbit and immediately into our interplanetary or inter-body transfer. Moon insertion, isn't it? That's, that's what the burn is called in this particular moment. But anyway, the ship we are using is exactly the same as the one we used in our recent updated moon tutorial. There's an annotation on screen right now. If you want to go to that video, it contains a tutorial, a very brief tutorial, quite sped up, but a tutorial nonetheless on how to build this particular ship. Also, in that video, there is a three-man moon lander, which you can use in exactly the same way as is shown here to get three men, uh, three Kerbals instead of just the one to Minmus and back. So what we're going to do is going to increase our apoapsis by just standard orbital operations. We're going to bring it up to about 90, that works. Uh, time warp up to the apoapsis and then we can continue burning prograde horizontally at 90 degrees. And now we're actually in exactly the correct position, just like we timed for, to just continue burning. First we'll be burning and get ourselves into an orbit, and then we'll carry on burning and go for that Minmus transfer. Looking down from above, and we have a good amount of fuel left, about half in these remaining tanks. Get a moon encounter, but we don't want to go to the moon. As you can see, we've actually been a bit too late. We don't have an encounter with Minmus. So if you're in a situation where you don't have an encounter, then you need to carry on watching the video. If you are in a situation where you have got an encounter immediately, then just keep watching and you can carry on as if it never happened. As if the next approximately, what, a minute of the video never happened. But anyway, we want to burn retrograde until our apoapsis is down at a lower altitude than the orbit of Minmus. You can see here, one problem you might have noticed is that our inclination isn't, isn't our inclination isn't correct, meaning that we're actually above Minmus orbit. So what we're going to do is, before changing our inclination, we're going to burn more retrograde at 90 degrees again, trying to increase the size of our orbit to a comparable to a comparable uh, comparable to the Minmus orbit, just to help us with rendezvousing. And you can see now our orbital trajectory crosses over the Kerbin, crosses over Kerbin and the orbit of Minmus. So we can time warp, similar to how we time warp at the start of the video. We will get into the correct position just on the node of the Minmus orbit, and we can burn north. By burning north, we're changing what direction our orbit is in, and you can see we shifted our trajectory just to align it correctly with Minmus orbit. And now it's just basically a rendezvous. So we'll warp up to the apoapsis, which should be a fair amount lower than Minmus's altitude, and we just need to burn per prograde. That's it. Prograde is the direction you're currently moving in. So it'll be pointing towards the way we're currently moving, which is round Kerbin at a 90 degree angle. And retrograde is the opposite of that. They're marked by yellow circles on your nav ball. And there we go, we just need to burn prograde and we will get an encounter with Minmus. If you don't, then you'll probably start it off wrong in the first place. So here we are. Here we are, we are now inside Ker uh, Minmus's sphere of influence. And we are going to want to prepare to get into an orbit. We've raised our apoaps just by burning a uh, bit prograde. We've raised our apoaps to up to 50,000 meters, 50 kilometers above the surface, and we're aiming for an ice lake because these ice lakes, if they are indeed ice, are extremely flat 
and they're big, wide open places. So instead of actually getting into an immediate orbit, we're just going to burn retrograde here, and we're, because we are almost directly over one of these ice lakes, we can go straight into a landing. If you're not over an ice lake, then you just want to get into an orbit, which is a pretty simple process. Just you warp, you raise your periaps to a comfortable altitude, warp to your periaps, burn retrograde to bring your apoapses down to the same altitude. And then you can pick and choose where you want to land. So we've just aimed ourselves for this ice lake. We don't need to be too scared of warping at high speeds because the gravity is so low, we accelerate extremely slowly. So just to finish off using our transfer stage, which has brought us all this way, we can just burn it up and basically ultimately killing our horizontal velocity. So once we detach that and thrust away very, very gently from it using the landing engines, you can see we're basically falling straight down. And in order to land safely, have a controlled descent, we're obviously going to want to point straight up. So we can just burn and bring ourselves down slowly. Don't need to burn yet. Don't need to burn yet. We can open up the landing legs in preparation. Now we should probably burn. 500 meters above the surface, and we're brazing, We're bringing our velocity right down, just so we can steadily, steadily bring this down onto the surface. And we are nearly on Minmus. Very nearly landed. Traveling. We want to be landing at under five meters per second, so we just bring it right down and cut the engines. And there we go. Nice and soft landing. Ah, Minmus. Minmus is a great place. I do like it. Um, it's an airless body, Kerbin's outer moon, and it has hardly any gravity whatsoever. It's, I think it's probably the second, the gravity we've, the second body in the solar system which has the, the least gravity. I, I cannot form a sentence. Uh, let's EVA and let's get back into our ship. How do we get home? off of this airless weak gravity body. Well, we are actually currently on the opposite side of Minmus to Kerbin. So we, all, we, all we need to do is burn straight up and immediately we can tilt over towards 270 degrees. That's pointing west for, you, for those of you who prefer to use compass points. And you can see we're increasing our trajectory back along Minmus's orbit in the retrograde position. So we actually decrease our velocity, our orbital velocity, when compared to Kerbin. Sounds a bit complicated than it really is, but safe to say, if you do what I've just done, you can reduce your periapsis down to within the atmosphere. Now in order to get successfully aero caught, or whatever the correct verb for that is, um, you're going to want to bring your altitude down under 20,000 meters. I think under 30,000 works, but you know, 20,000 to be safe. And that's it. We can time warp home. That is your very short and hopefully very helpful video. Once again, if you want to know how to build this ship and how to get three men on or three Kerbals onto the surface on, of Minmus, there is a video on the screen right now which you can click on and that will take you to the updated moon landing tutorial. And here we are, back home. Just spin ourselves around, detach. We'd rather be using the heat shields, you know? Because otherwise things might go badly for us. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to submit a ship into the test pilot series, which is the series in which I take viewer submitted ships, test them out, and then hopefully make some improvements to them, you need to look at the information in the description, and there's also a link to a video explaining exactly how to make your ship eligible for the show. Other than that, I've got nothing to say, so thank you all very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, then please do like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.